Very mystical called me. He said, say, man, Ken, man, you know, some Milwaukee bitches, man. They were talking about they from Milwaukee. I said, oh, yeah. So I said, I said man, let me check. check. So I, you know, I know all the pimps in the town, right? Yeah. I said, man, I said, man, anybody here about mystical getting peeled for some jewelry? And so the dudes, the head, they said, yeah. I said, look at him. I said, man, we need, we need that jury, man. What we need to do. So we did what we had to do, man. And I got the jury back. Mystical came to Milwaukee. When he came to Milwaukee, the crazy thing about it was the nigga left $25,000 in my brother car. I said, damn, this nigga be slipping. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I you know, want to ask you about this. I know I heard the story about the mystical losing his necklace story. Oh, yeah. I want to hear about that on Boss Talk 101. Because cause the, the, the chain thing, niggas get their chains took. To this day, niggas still get their chain took. For well, sure. Well, let me say this. Mystical didn't get robbed like that. Well, what happened? So, so, so a, a friend of mine, he's a pimp. You okay. know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, one of his hoes got with Mystical. Oh. And, and, and so she stole the jury. So when she stole the jury, Mystical called me. He said, say, man, Ken, man, you know, some Milwaukee bitches, man. They were talking about they from Milwaukee. I said, oh, yeah. So I said, I said man, let me check. check. So I, you know, I know all the pimps in the town, right? Yeah. I said, man, I said, man, anybody here about Mystical getting peeled for some jury? And so the dudes, the head, they said, yeah. I said, look at him. I said, man, we need, we need that jury, man. What we need to do. So we did what we had to do, man. And I got the jury back. Mystical came to Milwaukee. When he came to Milwaukee, the crazy thing about it was the nigga left $25,000 in my brother's car. I said, damn, this nigga be slipping. Oh, he be so slipping hard. So my brother pulled off with the $25,000. And he, go, he called me going crazy. So I had to get the money back for him. But my brother would have never stole the money from him anyway. But uh, how did you end up meeting Mystical? How did you guys become cool? Enough well, for him to well, pick you up the phone remember, call you. You got to remember, Lil John okay. had a song with he did, Mystical, and it was big. And I was in that video. Okay. And Mystical was in my Ghetto Streets Executive Suite. So oh, I, this all yeah. Lil John first album or the second? Uh, man, I, man, bro, don't give me the line. <laughs> I, I did something <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, but 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 and then you got to remember, uh, uh, Beast by a Pound. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Moby yeah, Dick. Yeah. Now they knew me. You know, Cash Money when they first came out. You, you remember when Turk said, uh, "Yeah, man, a baby and Ken used to ride around and, and baby." Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Well, you know, before Baby even had a million dollars, he he would consult with me. I would give him game. But they want to know about the pimping. And, and you know, it's a whole bunch of other shit I don't want to talk what do you about. Think it, about why do you think it's such a fascination to the hip hop uh, in the pimping. guys? Yeah, in the pimping. Well, know. you know, I mean, you know what I mean? Before them niggas ever get that shit, we got it already. So when them That's niggas. That makes them, sense. So when, when, when Baby pulled up to me, you know what I'm saying? He got a Rolex, a plain Jane on. I got a bust down on. You know what I'm saying? Me, you know, I got seven, eight hoes, pretty bitches, and he trying to, you know, make a hit record so he can fuck all the pretty bitches. I got these pretty bitches selling pussy. You know what I'm saying? Me, it's a difference. I got these hoes on the remote control. These hoes, I snap my finger. These hoes do what I tell them to do. They fascinated because most niggas, when they go home, they bitches run them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, half of these niggas can't, you know, these niggas can't send a bitch to the store and, you know, with, with, with some change and tell the bitch to come back with their change. The bitch gonna spend the change. Let's <laughs> know. Get the nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bitch ain't respecting that shit. So, you know, a pimp, the bitch ain't gonna miss a quota, a dime. Hey, bitch, bring me every motherfucker dime my money back. I guarantee you, she ain't gonna miss a dime, you know, if it's in the game. So that's how the game, it's the difference. And you know, that's what they fascinated by. You know, they fascinated yeah. by the jury. Our jury is customized. They buying their shit in the middle of the mall. I don't buy no shit in the middle of the mall. I want my name on that shit, my inscriptions. You know what I'm saying? I want my suits with my name in it. My means gotta have my name in it. You know what I mean? Pimps are special. Yeah. And then, you know, baby now, them niggas just feel special too. So, you know, you look at some of the jury babies start getting, and you start seeing them have pimp jury. You know, the man, man, the man spent hours, the man, they flew me all into New Orleans, all into they, you know, their offices and shit. You know what I'm saying? I knew Lil Wayne when he was a baby. Yeah. When Lil Wayne was a baby. I've been, that's how long I've been fucking with these niggas. You go look at all the juvenile videos, you'll see me there. I need you in that life. That's me with the black and white suit on. So, you know what I mean? I was fucking with these niggas, all these niggas. Uh, uh, what's his name? The boy, uh, Lil Flip. Lil Flip. That's me in the video. This is the way we, we ball. ball when we go to jury with the pimp cup. I yeah. give him the pimp. So, you know, I've been fucking with these niggas for years. You know what I'm saying? Me. But I'm the type of nigga, I'm a street nigga. So, you know, I don't look at it like hip hop. I look at it like, you know, I fuck with these my little niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we on Boss Talk 101.